Hello everybody and welcome back to the mega modded, well I say mega modded, ultra mod nuclear throne. This time we are jumping in as probably my favourite character. I don't know, is he my favourite? I don't actually know. He's, he's one of my favourites, mainly just because extra mutation choice with modded specifically is like top tier. It's so useful. Is that really the, the entire first floor? That was a really, really small first floor. His, his red beam is also pretty good, but I tend to not use it until I get ranked up or until I get like upgrades for it. Um, which is normally the um, ultra mod. Um, sorry, is ultra mutation. Uh, but I don't know. For now, I just like having the extra mutation choice. It's just I like characters that have good passives, like YV having extra fire rate and stuff like that. Uh, director rifle is probably a good shout here. Being able to fire these at a little bit higher projectile velocity is going to be nice. Not exactly the best weapon in the world, but yeah, extra choice here is really, really nice. And I think. I would take Power Craving early. I think that Power Craving's really, really good um, for going to the for going to the what they're called um, Crown Vaults and getting extra upgrades. Also, just weapons you pick up having upgrades is really nice. And I don't really use it that often, but it's it's, it's, it's kind of one of those ones where if you don't get it early enough, it's not that good. Um, I mean, it is still good, but you, you really want to get it as early as you can because um, if you're already using two weapons you really like, it's unlikely you're going to swap them to get an upgrade uh, already if you already have a weapon that's good enough without an upgrade sort of thing. With this, we got Explosive, which for a yo-yo gun, I don't know if that's going to be super useful, but we'll take it anyways. I think it could be pretty good. Um, and I might try and go to some of the alt flaws here if we get the opportunity. Yo-yo gun's pretty decent off the bat, though, I will say. Uh, oh, we do have an alt flaw here, so I, I guess we could go straight to there. I was just saying about those the alt flaws. Okay, this thing's running out of ammo. Let's uh, forget about that for now. We'll try and kill most of the enemies before we leave, just so we get as many rads as we can. Um, but we don't need to. We can just go... Oh, God. Okay, we didn't get an ammo chest, unfortunately. We got that chest instead. Oh, there's our rads. Let's go get that first. I'm not particularly happy with this situation. I think this is going to be better. Yeah, there you go. Okay, cool. Grab that. Ooh, flame shotgun. I almost certainly take that. And we got it with um, radiation. Nice. Hmm. Some good stuff here. I think rabbit paw is probably the best for us right now. This stage is particularly difficult. So we do have to be a bit careful here. We are going to get flame on our flame shotgun, which... Eh. It's um, dubious as to whether that's actually useful at all. But... I'm going to say that it is for some reason. I got... Oh, God. What the hell? <laughs> I was a bit confused as to what was firing then. I thought it was the mama that was, like, releasing out all the little babies. Turns out it most certainly was not. Jawbreaker. We'll enter through there instead. There was actually a lot of alt falls could have gone to there. There's the other one open too, but we haven't been to this floor in a while. Particularly because this floor is quite a bit more difficult <laughs> and you normally come here pretty underprepared i end up dying quite a lot when i come here but i don't know for a change of pace especially with the jawbreaker the jawbreaker is one of the better like level one level zero weaponry i can kill these dogs in a single hit as can the grenade launcher you can kill multiple of them in a single hit or it can kill me in a single hit as it tried to do there but we'll ignore that for now um okay, let's grab that I don't know why I shot that, to be honest. That was pretty pointless. Okay, good. Health, yeah, not looking so great. Didn't level up off that stage either, which is a real shame. But he got a double level up there. Um, I think, honestly, second stomach early on might be pretty good. It's kind of only really super useful if you end up getting higher maximum HP as well. But for now, I'm going to say that it's pretty decent. Oh, God, there's a lot, a lot of stuff coming our way right now. I missed out on some of that ammo there. It's nice that you throw into normal bandits as well as the uh, the big boy bandits that fire a lot and the guys that fire explosives and the guy that fire through walls. There's all sorts of crazy stuff going on with these dudes. Nice. What was this here? Ah, oh, a disc gun. And uh, nothing. That guy walked directly into that grenade. We do want to go to a crown vault here, I think. Oh no, we died on the one where we had um, power craving. Ignore me. I was like, we've got power craving, we want to go through here. To be fair, we, we want to go through it anyways. Especially with our low HP. Right, no, no! Reds. 
Sweet reds. Okay, rhino skin. That's what I was, that's what I was referring to. We're going to need that for uh, for second stomach to be really good. It's just good to go, go to to get higher rank weapons. Apparently, that's a thing that works. I don't actually know if it still works in Ultra Mod. Whoa, but I think it does. Okay, this is... This is maybe too much. We actually did okay there. Big Vulture's on his way. That was kind of close. I'm just going to try to take out the basic enemies first. Big Vulture's annoying, but... He's... Ex his annoyance is exacerbated by having a lot more enemies around. Okay. That, the shotgun's pretty good. Super splinter gun, yeah, we definitely leveled up our weapon levels quite a bit here. Got some really good stuff, actually. Ammo consumption, quite high, but otherwise. Um, so we could take power craving again. Da, 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 da. Beam charge is quicker. Beam heals sometimes. Mist will drop rads. Uh, or we can take the flexible elbows. Could get that primary fire rate. I think I'm going to go with a primary fire rate, to be honest. And then... Yeah, let's let's do that. Then we got a lot of uh, a lot of reload speed and fire rate stuff going going on. And they pair together quite nice. I would like to get um the homing on my bow if I can. I don't know how quickly that will come to us, but let's be hopeful. Ooh, God. Oh, I always forget how bad poison can be. At least poison is a little muted in this mod. I think it has to be with the amount of poison enemies on floors like this. If it wasn't, it'd be truly hell. Um, if poison stuck around for as long as it uh, does normally. The little shotgun is to get me. But I think our damage output is pretty good here. It's a pretty good floor. We are going to have to watch out for the cube bush thing. Um, da -da 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 -da. I think I should go for plutonium hunger here. Grab health a little easier. Like this thing's this thing's incredible, but the ammo consumption could be a bit nutty sometimes. Oh, that, dude, I fired right at that thing and it just didn't die at all. Yeah, this thing with a fire rate is good. Heavy pop rifle. Not used that before. Seems interesting. It seems more ammo efficient as well, damage wise. It seems actually really good to be honest. This thing's this thing's pretty nutty to be honest. Holy shit! With that extra fire rate too, that thing's nuts. Okay, this is good. I do like the fact that both reload and uh, fire rate are essentially the same thing in this game for most guns. They call a group of enemies like that. The fire rate just goes nutty. Why are these um these bush babies so difficult to kill? The fire rate goes absolutely nuts here. When we start killing enemies, the fire rate goes out of control. Okay, I I actually think this enemy's going to be, like, not too bad. Just don't stay on the diagonals, which we just did then. I need to kill the other enemies first here, actually. That's going to be a real problem if I don't. Oh my gosh. Having trouble. The other enemies are just everywhere. Where is he? I've lost him. Okay, there you go. We got him. We got him. Don't kill the purple sheep. Not yet. Right. Grab that. No, I don't want to go through there. Ah, oh, bugger. It's not what I wanted to do. It's fine. We could take puppy cheeks here. Uh, preemptively loading shots is kind of good. I actually think that's probably the best option for us, to be honest, with the setup we got right now. Assault flugger. I don't know what flugger means. It's definitely a slugger, but I don't know what the flug bit means. Get over here. Oh, these enemies. Being able to sit over walls is so annoying. Do not touch that thing. That would be very bad. Okay. Almost out of ammo on this. Yeah, this thing isn't actually that good, I'll be honest. The spread on it, with, with eagle eyes, maybe it's got some merit. With 
with their bolt marrow, maybe it's got some even more merit. But without either of those, it's it's falling a little short, I'll be honest. It's not doing great. Like, it's just so hard to actually hit all the shots on a single enemy. Like, for groups, yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, geez. Honestly, these enemies, so annoying. Sitting over walls. It reminds me of in Isaac when enemies do that. Hmm... I'm gonna go with impact wrist to be honest. I think impact wrist is really fun now. With the uh with the being able to destroy walls. It's actually quite useful as well. Like, in some stages it doesn't matter, but other stages it's actually kind of important being able to destroy walls. The flail. I think I'll take the flail for now. Oh, the flail can double reload as well, that's interesting. Oh, that's actually really useful, you know. I didn't I never really thought about that. Okay, the flail is very good. <laughs> I've never really used it before. This guy's going to be an absolute pain. Oh, we do not have the ammo for this fight. He's dropping so much, is nice, but... Oh, no, okay, okay. I forget, this This. This gun does a lot of damage. <laughs> not so bad when we've got this much damage. Okay, let's figure out one, two, three... Okay, so it kills them in about four or five hits. Honestly, this thing. This thing's awesome. I really love the animations for it as well. It hits multiple times. Yeah, if you if you like stick it on top of an enemy, it's gonna hit them a lot. And obviously it's gonna bounce back shots as well, which is particularly quite nice. Yeah, this is, this is top tier, this thing. Efficient heavy slugger. What does efficient mean? Just mean faster reload, maybe? I think the heavy pop rifle's better, I'll be honest. We got rage for more fire rate. Um, decreases accuracy slightly. And each kill increases drop rate, all weapon reload speed, and decreases accuracy slightly. 45% more ammo and health drops, 10% more weapon drops. Yeah, I think we better go for that, to be honest. Seems like if enemies are moving towards us while we hit them with the flail, it does a lot more damage. Like, a lot more. Is that guy... Who's that guy firing at? What's confusing? Yeah, let's just get in here. I'd like to get a mutation on the flail, if possible. Can, like, can you do that? I don't actually know if melee weapons take mutations. We got Morph or um, Frost. Let's try it. Okay, yeah, you can. You can. I, I mean, I, I thought it'd be possible. I've never tried it before. I think Frost with the flail could be really good. The Frost flail. That seems to be like a, a new chest type that I've not noticed before that has like better weaponry in it. Super Nuke Launcher. I feel like this will kill me when I fire it. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take a little bit of a risk here. I'm going to come all the way up to you, my good sir. Give him a whack. And then make my way all the way back down here. Go boom, boom, boom. Then grab that back. Oh god, I did not realise he ran at you like that. Okay, luckily, that did a particularly high amount of damage, so it wasn't that bad. But that could have gone That could have gone bad. You could have ran right at me and uh, trapped me. So we've got enemy uh, enemies explode into rad bullets, depending on the amount of rads they drop. Portals appear earlier. Double uh, radiation capacity, increased value by 20%. Homing beam. Beam goes through walls. Beam destroys projectiles better. Choose an ultra mutation from another character. Doesn't include things you can't use. I think we have to go for that, don't we? Choose a mutation in the next area. Um, in every area, a weapon mod spawns. Double weapon mod effectiveness. Combining a weapon adds a mod to it. Um, only high tier weapon drops. Every enemy has a 5% chance to drop a weapon. Ammo chests include all ammo types, you can carry an infinite amount of ammo. Ammo above max decreases over time. The more total ammo you have, the more knockback you deal. 
That seems really interesting. Uh, increase the level cap by one, even more reds. Half ammo costs for all weapons. All weapons cost, small, cost a small amount of reds. When you are uh, above 50% health, you do 50% more damage. That's really cool. I think... I don't know. This one seems really interesting. I also like this one. I'm going to go with the weapon modder. I think that one seems really interesting. Um, go with weapon drop. I think having a melee weapon here is going to be of, of quite a lot of use. The coffee cannon. Interesting. Is it good? It moves you as you shoot. I don't think it's that good, to be honest. Let's not, let's not take that for now. This having freeze was a particularly good decision. Apparently, you can change... You can decide what mod you swap out as well, which is really nice. Oh, we did get another level, which is weird. Um, I guess we just go with high max ammo, then. We got weapon drop again. That's kind of good, actually, because we do, we do want weapon drops. Oh, God, this knockback is hilarious. The infinity slugger. Eh, it's only a normal slugger, so... Good, but not interesting. Golden bow unlocked for horror. Nice, nice. The inversion magnet. Okay, no, that's a melee weapon. We've already got a good melee weapon. See, everything's just dying. Everything's getting knocked back all over the place. It's awesome. Oh god, the lollipop. What, what do we get here? Herming? Um... I don't actually think we need Herming on that. The Golden Burr. Inversion Magnet. The weapon here. Bullet Shovel. Yeah, I think Bullet Shovel seems like something that we could put Herming on. Um, increased Projectile Herming makes lasers more accurate. Okay, cool. They got increased effectiveness too, so the Herming should be more pronounced, I think. I'm not actually sure about that. But now we're kind of double melee, which is interesting. But still good. Splinter, yes. With the knockback as well. Oh yeah, the splinter, the knockback, all of this is quite nice. Ammo consumption, quite high, but shouldn't matter too much. Take out what's behind us first. Anything down this way? No. Okay, just mum chilling out up there. Are you going to be a problem, Mum? Are you going to be a problem? Kind of, yeah. You are firing poison straight through my shovel. I wasn't expecting. Kraken cannon. Yeah, this thing, this thing's ammo consumption is kind of crazy. Might have to swap that out soon. So a swarm on that bad boy. I like the way it spawns the extra weapon mod at the very start of the stage. Also, I like this thing to swarm too. Big assassin. Okay, big assassin with melee. Maybe not the best idea. Where did big assassin go? Oh, you're there. Okay. Oh, wait, freezing though. I didn't, yeah, I didn't consider how crazy good freezing would be on big assassin. It is particularly nutty. Super electro cannon. Yeah. I like that. And it can pre-reload as well, because of our perks. Get Herming on that, I guess. Why not? Yeah, having having these big weapons available to preload is kind of insane. Okay. Here we go. 
We could do the extra the extra thing here. Auto hand cannon. Mm. That's pretty good, but I really like the super electro cannon. Right, first of all, let's check off the, the bosses that we've done, because we have done some extras here. Um, hits occasionally infuse rads on enemies um, and weapon drop. We don't need to mess around with either of those, I don't think. I suppose, actually, this is not a bad idea. Let's go for that. So I think it's through this way we want to be going first. Yeah. And then we can get some extras from this. I really love this system. Being able to get these extras for certain bosses that you've killed. Plus one max HP there. Um, increase the value of uh, radiation by 15. And gain one extra life. That's really good. And that's a really cool system. For making looping a little more enjoyable. Let's go do the, uh, the mega challenge. I don't know if we can actually do it. But I, I'm, I'm feeling confident. Like, this weapon is just insane. The swarm and everything. And it doesn't need ammo, too, which saves us a lot of trouble. I think freezing might have been the, the, the best thing we could have possibly got on this, I'll be honest. I didn't realise how strong it would be. It's, I thought it would be a chance to freeze. It seems to be a guaranteed freeze on him. Even hit me then, I don't even know. I got hit by Summit. Oh, big health chest, nice. Okay, things that are explosive, not the greatest. We do not have any uh, protection against um, on hit effects, like enemies will walk, walk into us. We have a little cunter about. I think there's multiple little hunters about, you know. I'm not actually sure about that, but... Oh, we did it. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so... Swarm to Snow. How... Hmm. Swarm to Snow could be interesting with this melee weapon, I'll be honest. Swarm to... I, I want to look at Swarm to Others. Swarm to Others is going to be our... A cool one here. Although I don't, I'm not seeing swarm much places. Seeker. <laughs> swarm to toxic. Okay, there's only two swarm twos. I'm gonna try swarm to snow. See what that does. It that might have been a waste. That might not end up being very good, and it might actually lower our overall damage. But I'm thinking if we can have seeking like snow effects that go after enemies. It's gonna just freeze everything, right? It's gonna make this melee weapon even better. <laughs> I haven't really seen it trigger yet, though. Like, fully. I need kind of an area where there's not many enemies and just to hit one enemy. Like this. Yeah, there you go. Okay, it works. It just it just places it on the enemy that I hit. So it's essentially extra damage and extra freezing on top of whatever enemy I hit. I like it. It's good. Morph. Um, nah, I think we're kind of fine for morph. I think we've created the ultimate weapon here. Ooh, projectile speed. Okay, that doesn't actually do anything. On both guns, and both weapons, should I say, that's not very good. Honestly, the, the knockback, breaking walls and everything is so good. I'm so glad it's okay. Oh. <laughs> we have a revive though, so... Oh, we lost all of our um, mutations though. That's a bit sucky. I was wondering, like, why can't we swing as fast? Because we basically lost all of our reload speed. This is really rough. Yeah. That that was that was tricky. Losing all your, your mutations there. But anyways, what a fun run nonetheless. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you guys in the next one.